Welcome to City Field for our annual What's New event. I'm your host, Emily Repper, and we have some very exciting updates to share with you today. So thank you all for joining us. But before we delve into the details, I'd like to introduce someone who, like many of the new exciting changes happening here, is new to the Mets family. So please join me in welcoming the Mets' new president of business operations, M. Scott Havens. We embark on this journey of innovation and growth together. We're thrilled to have you at the helm. So take it away, Scott. Uh, thank you, Emily. It's great to be here. It's great to be inside. Um, we, we just did a, a ribbon cutting for City Bike, and um, that was pretty cold. Um, let's hope we get some uh, warmer weather in seven days from today. Anyway, thanks for being here. Uh, I am very, very excited to be here with you for my first What's New. Um, since I just started, I have absolutely nothing to do with any of the improvements that you're gonna see today. So I cannot take any credit or, or blame if you don't like them. Um, the team has been obviously planning and executing for many months to pull off what you will see today. And, uh, and I thank you all. Um, on the team for your contributions in getting us ready for today, for opening day, seven days from now, and uh, for what I know will be a great season. Uh, before we get started, a huge thank you to our co-owner, Alex Cohen, who has been instrumental in guiding vision and design around many of the updates that we'll show you today. Thank you for joining us, Alex, and I see Grandpa is here, and Josh, so welcome. Uh, I also want to say a quick thank you to our partners um, who are here today. We have many of them, our great partners. We don't take you for granted. Uh, we know you have other partners that you could work with. We appreciate you. We appreciate your commitment to City Field and to the New York Mets. Uh, what you will see today is the next chapter, not the final chapter, the next chapter in what I would say is a multi-year strategy, a commitment that Steve and Alex Cohen made when they bought the team to give all fans the best possible experience here at City Field, both on and off the field, and more broadly within the community. My counterpart and partner, uh, David Stearns, is not here today. He's the president of baseball operations. He's down in spring training, or at spring training in Port St. Lucie, finalizing the roster. Uh, but he obsesses about what's happening on the field how we play on the field. Our team, who you'll hear a bunch from today, in business operations, we obsess about everything else. Um, last season, we debuted uh, the Speakeasy style Cadillac Club. We opened up the Jolie front porch, party porch. We launched the Kids Club. We put up the largest scoreboard in Major League Baseball, just to name a few things. This year, we've upgraded our premium space the new Delta Sky 360 Club, which you will see, and it is amazing. Uh, we have redesigned the team store, expanded it, added more selections, added some art. You will see it. It is amazing. We brought in a number of new food and beverage options for our fans, which uh, I'm sure they will appreciate, and they voted us number one food and beverage stadium once again this year. And I know you really come for the food. That's usually the case, so you'll get over that. <laughs> Um, you also show you some of the new technology improvements and entertainment options that we will be debuting this year um, at City Field. My role as president of business uh, operations alongside this very talented executive team uh, is to ensure we run a successful business here, for sure, but it's also just as important that we focus deeply and consistently on providing an amazing experience here to our fans. So our team across the board is dedicated to ensuring that we continually evolve every aspect from parking to ticketing, to food and beverage, to the app, to the digital experience, even to the restrooms. Uh, we are constantly listening to feedback. We are constantly looking at data and analyzing it and continually improving everything that we do here. That is more than enough that you want to hear from me, I am sure, and I don't want to steal any thunder from my colleagues who will be up here after me to tell you more specifically, but, but thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for braving what is, feels like a January day. 
Um, but more importantly, thank you for your support for the New York Mets. I'll see you in seven days at opening day. Let's go Mets. Back to you, Emily. Thank you, Scott, for what setting the stage for what promises to be an amazing year here at City Field. All right, next up, we have Chief Marketing Officer Andy Goldberg, who will touch on several exciting marketing updates. Andy, take it away. Thanks, Emily. Um, what's new? There's a lot to talk about that's new here, uh, a lot from the marketing front, a lot from the fan entertainment front. So I'll, I'll take you through a number of things we've been working on this year that I think will bring a lot of excitement to the fans, um, starting with two very important dates on the schedule this year which are honoring two Mets legends. Um, we will be retiring, as you know, Doc Gooden's number 16 on April 14th, and Daryl Strawberry's number 18 on June 1st. Uh, I can't tell you how excited we are as a team to be doing this, and I know the fans are super excited and have been hoping and waiting for this date for a long time. I can also report that Daryl is in very good health and doing well following his heart attack, um, which we're really excited about. And he is exceptional. Ex he is extremely excited to share that excitement on his re Jersey retirement day. Um, so we look forward to seeing everyone there for that. Uh, for in-game entertainment, we do a lot to make sure that the fan experience here is best in its class. So we've taken it to a new level this year. There has been a lot of talk about it already, and you will see it firsthand. We are launching the Queen's Dance Crew. Um, we are very excited by this crew. The Queen's Crew is going to be presented by Cadillac this year. Um, and they will be performing at approximately 30 games. In addition to that, there will be an MC. And the MC is here to keep the energy and the crowd going throughout those games. Um, so we hope that brings a lot of new excitement to baseball and to our fans. Um, you'll see their performance later. They are like no other team you've ever seen. Um, they are extremely talented. Um, and I think they bring a lot of excitement and entertainment to the game. In addition, we have made some changes physically to where fans can experience Mets history. Um, we have transformed the Hall of Fame and the museum to new places in the ballpark. And you'll see them as you go around. The Hall of Fame and the plaques will have been uh, moved to the top of the rotunda. This is so every fan, as they enter the ballpark, can see the plaques of the Mets legends um, and will be able to walk around. As you remember, there are those brick columns. They will be on the brick columns celebrating Mets history. The museum has been relocated to the Fan Fest. And the goal there is to give fans during the game the opportunity to experience the museum while also being part of the game. Having it on the field level is a big improvement for the fan experience. Um, so we're really excited about that. And then there's one other big upgrade for the fans that they're going to experience this year. And that is LED stadium lights. We've been working hard at this and you can see in this demo, as you watch the lights, they are full color. So as the games go on, as big moments take place, we will have, transform City Field into something that fans have never seen before. A full visual experience that I think will really take their breath away. There's been a lot of off the field activity as well. Um, as you're aware, we have podcasts. Um, we have two that have been going on for a couple years now. We have Jay's Amazing Conversations with Jay Horowitz. Um, we also have The Future of Flushing, which introduces our fans to the next generation of Mets. Um, and recently, we have launched a new podcast called Meet at the Apple. Meet at the Apple came out with big fanfare and launched to the number one pod baseball podcast in America on, Apple to, uh, on iTunes and has been continuing to hold that spot for several weeks. What's unique about this podcast is it's a baseball podcast that's not a baseball podcast. Okay, so what that means is it's taking you into the players' lives, into the managers' lives. It's behind the scenes. It's off the diamond. It's what our fans want to hear from the Mets about the players. And I think that creates a unique experience, a unique connection that our fans can get only from the Mets. So sign up where you get your podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, um, and subscribe. And lastly, and I know you will all get to see this firsthand when you go upstairs, our promotional items. Everyone looks forward to our promotional items every year. Uh, they're big hits. There are also uh, a lot of time and care is taken to build them. Um, we have 23 items this year. We have a lot of new ones, including uh, a Harry Potter scarf series, 
where you'll be sorted as you enter the ballpark. We have a Hello Kitty light-up figurine. We have our classic bobbleheads, including a Doc and Daryl one. Um, we also are reintroducing uh, our jersey series, which made its debut last year. And lastly, we are debuting our artist series. This is a series we, we launched when we first announced our promos this year, and we're really excited. We have three fantastic artists who have helped develop promo items that have never been seen before uh, from a baseball audience, and we're trying to introduce a new level of excitement and interest to our baseball fans. Um, so there's a lot to see, a lot of, to look at when you go upstairs uh, and enjoy the food of the promo items, um, but we really look forward to seeing everyone at the ballpark this year and partaking in all these new experiences. So thank you. Thank you, Andy. Definitely a lot to look forward to this season and seeing today. Next up, we have Senior Vice President of Partnerships, Brendan Millette, with the news on new and returning partners. Brendan? Good morning. Thank you all for, uh, for joining us this morning. As Emily mentioned, my name is Brendan Millette. I'm the Senior Vice President of Partnerships here, entering my second season with the New York Mets. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome back some of our long-standing partners and highlight what some of our other partners are doing to elevate the fan experience here. Everything that we try and do with our partners is about that, elevating the fan experience. We want people to come here and uh, not only enjoy a great game, but uh, enjoy a great experience the whole way through. So um, we're fortunate that we have partners that agree with that philosophy and are doing some great things here with us this year. Uh, I want to call out a few of them uh, specifically. First, Fiserv and Clover will continue their long-standing uh, relationship with us. Um, they will continue to honor veterans uh, at home games throughout the season. As well, we're launching a small business of the month program where together we will showcase and support local businesses throughout the community. More exciting announcements to come from our partnership with uh, Pfizer and Clover in the coming days. Duncan, I'm sure you're all familiar with them. They're back with, uh, an, as, as a, with an exciting partner with us on our Reimagined Teens Club, so more details to follow on that. Um, our partner at Ford that has been with us for many, many years is coming back and we're excited to create a brand new Ford tailgate zone in right field and uh, at the end of this season one lucky fan will be going home with a brand new custom Mets wrapped 2023 Ford Bronco. So wait till you see this thing, it's beautiful, it's going to be showcased in the uh, corner of the ballpark all season long. Finally, uh, our, our friends and partners at Delta Airlines, they're back with us and we're excited to showcase uh, a brand new Delta Sky 360 Club. You're going to see this on your tour shortly and I can't wait for everyone to experience it. New this season, uh, fans will be able to enter the ballpark through a newly branded SeatGeek left field gate. This will be located at the northwest corner of the ballpark, so check that out when you're coming in. Uh, and Coca-Cola is coming back with a highly successful uh, food truck program. We did this, launched this last year. Um, it was a fantastic featuring of local uh, small businesses, local businesses, restaurants. We're going to be kicking off this season and showcasing food options from the likes of Comfortland, New York Panini, and Maze. Um, not, not. I want to make sure that we uh, we don't forget to mention our naming rights partner, City. City was here this morning with us, as Scott mentioned. Um, we launched our brand new City bike. Uh, in the corner of the ballpark, there's going to be multiple stations throughout where people can come and go and, and grab a City bike. Um, in addition to that, City will also continue their long-standing tradition of helping to end childhood hunger with every home run hit at City Field. Uh, City will donate $2,000 to No Kid Hungry. And then lastly, we're excited to announce a brand new partnership with Guardian. The team at Guardian with the Mets will be rolling out a suite of engaging fan-facing elements that will be highlighted by the first ever presenting partner of the Mets Clubhouse. We appreciate the support from all of you and certainly from all of our partners and we look forward to a great 2024 season. Thank you. Thank you, Brendan, for highlighting the invaluable contributions of our partners. All right, now let's say hi to Jake Bai, our Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing, who will be providing updates on our ticket plans for the 2024 season. Jake. I, I had not heard that one before, of course. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here. A few quick updates from everybody's favorite topic, ticketing. Uh, in our premium spaces. Uh, the first 
uh, is new game times on Saturday, something that we are bringing back, our afternoon Saturday games. We did a ton of research. Uh, we got a ton of fan feedback, and it was an overwhelming uh, majority that preferred the earlier game starts. So we're excited for that. Um, I think it's going to give people uh, their weekends back. I have three boys. They're insane by 7 p.m. on a Saturday, so uh, by 4 o'clock, only moderately insane. So I think that's going to be very well received. A um, couple new products we're rolling out uh, this year. One we just did uh, earlier this week. It's a nine-game fielder's choice plan is what we're calling it. Thank you, Andy. Uh, and it gives fans the ability to f have a flexible uh, ticket package. Again, ton of research. You'll hear a reoccurring theme as we're going to com communicate and engage with our fans to get their feedback to make more sound decisions. And nine games we felt was, was manageable. There was a lot of appeal for that. That's anchored in our three uh, big games, opening day and the two Subway Series games. But then beyond that, they're able to choose uh, what's convenient for their personal situation, their business, their family. And then we'll load some food and beverage value on the ticket as well, give them a head start uh, at the concession stands when they come. Uh, the second product you will see when you go into the seating bowl, uh, in, in addition to the beautiful blue seats, part of our Delta Sky 360 Club uh, renovation, we updated our seats behind the dugouts, the two rows behind each dugout. Our uh, partners at Dream Seats have uh, upgraded those uh, wider seats, uh, more cushion. They definitely stick out, but we've rolled a food and beverage component into those seats. So when you buy a seat in those two rows, you have every concession stand uh, at your disposal baked into your ticket price. That turnkey sort of product is uh, you know, something that, especially in the business community we've noticed, they like to send a client to the game and everything is covered uh, from the time they get here until the time they leave. So um, the last uh, thing that we'll uh, touch on that um, we're uh, extremely excited about, uh, well, actually the, the Delta 3 360 Club we're very excited about, but um, the, I lost, I'm so sorry, lost my train of thought. Oh, our suite's website. So, um, yeah, believe it or not, we have never sold our executive suites on a daily basis online. So we did a lot of research around that, and teams are selling roughly, the, the, the innovative teams, a third of their suite products online. So we built an immersive, think uh, you know, real estate, think a home tour. You can go into a suite online, get a 360-degree view of the view of the field, the interior of the suite. Uh, it's very uh, intuitive as far as day of the week, price you're willing to pay, budget. Uh, and uh, right now, our suites business is in better shape than it's been at this time of year at any point in history. Uh, this is certainly a contributing factor to that. So I have to plug cityfieldsuites.com or mets.com slash suites. Uh, and we're extremely excited to bring that product uh, to people in a new way. And over half of these suites that are sold online across sports are done in non-business hours. That was a big driver as well to, to recognize consumer behavior and respond to it. So um, anyway, great to see you all. Thanks for being here. We'll see you in the club here in a little bit. Thank you, Jake. Sounds like lots of exciting opportunities available to fans this season. All right, on deck, we have Jane Sun, head of the Amazing Mets Foundation, who will be sharing details about our new 50-50 raffle. Thanks, Emily. I'm excited to be back here at my second What's New event. Um, for those of you who were here last year, we had unveiled the Sing for Hope piano. Just wanted you all to know that that's now found its way to a local school here in Queens to support their music program. This year, though, I'm excited to announce that the Amazing Mets Foundation will be hosting a 50-50 raffle program this season. So this game of chance is referred to as 50-50 because 50% of the proceeds will go to a lucky winner, and the other 50% will support the work of the Amazing Mets Foundation. Since its inception in 2021, with the generosity of our foundation's president, Alex Cohen, we have actually already funded $10 million in direct programming and grants to over 160 charitable organizations around City Field and around each of our affiliate team locations. And with this new raffle program, we will be able to support more community-based organizations that are doing incredible work. The raffle will take place at each Mets home game. Tickets can be purchased here at City Field from the time the gates open until the bottom of the sixth inning. And there'll be eight kiosks that'll be located throughout the ballpark, one of which you will see when you head up to um, Caesar Sportsbook. And of course, there will be QR codes everywhere as well so that you can purchase online. Um, you can even purchase if you can't make it out to a game as long as you're here in the state of New York. 
And for more information, including to see the official rules, you can go to meds.com forward slash 5050. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. What a great way for fans to support and also maybe put a little money in their pockets. Sounds like a win-win. All right, well, a lot has changed here since the end of last season, but City Field is always busy, even during the off season. In fact, it's rare that a day goes by without an event here at the ballpark. So for more on non-baseball events, here's VP of Mets Events, Nikki Romolo. I always say events go last because we bring the party. Um, <laughs> Uh, thanks, Emily. I'm Nikki Moll, the Vice President of Events. Uh, as media professionals, you can all agree that a picture's worth a thousand words, but video's worth a million. So let's check what we've got going on. As you can see, not only are we a world-class baseball facility, but we are a world-class events facility with a full slate of programming for the season. Uh, kicking off our summer concert series, we've got two great Foo Fighters shows, Blink-182, Def Leppard, Journey, Green Day, and a couple more to come uh, that we'll be announcing shortly. Um, we've got some great sports programming. We've got six NYCFC matches, including the Derby against the Red Bull. We've got our Spartan race, and Stadium Links will be coming back. Um, a couple food and wine events that we have that were not in the video. We're going to be bringing a stadium chef series, a wine event, and probably my personal favorite, we're bringing a, a bagel fest here on September 28th. Um, then we have some Mets, Mets, Mets experiences, pardon me, that we're launching this year. For the first time ever, we're going out in the community, and we'll have nine Mets youth camp, baseball and softball youth camps. Uh, we are continuing our wonderful fantasy camps down in Port St. Lucie. And then, as always, the jewel of the New York Mets, Mr. and Mrs. Met, will be out and about the community all season. So we look forward to seeing you guys, not just at baseball games, but at one of our many events. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. You had me at Bagel Fest. A lot of exciting events lined up for the season ahead. All right, so now that we've heard about numerous new and exciting initiatives at the ballpark, it's time to take a little tour of some of the newest upgrades at City Field. So if you could please follow me as we make our way out of the press conference room and in.